So today I'm talking about a P06DD code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P06DD code? Well, it's an engine oil pressure control stuck off. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's an engine oil pressure sensor that's monitoring the oil pressure. And for some reason, this is not correct. The oil pressure is either too high or too low, or there's some kind of issue going on there that it's outside the range of where the oil pressure should be. And so the computer is sending out this P060D code, and so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P06DD code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low engine oil. So go check your engine oil. Be sure it's at the correct level and that it's not too low. Another thing that could cause this is very dirty engine oil. Very dirty engine oil can start to clog things up, like the variable valve timing and different things like this. So if that engine oil is really dirty, that can't cause issues. Another thing that could cause this is that if the wrong engine oil is used, if engine oil was added or if the engine oil was replaced and it's a more thicker oil than what's rated for, then this could cause issues. So that's something else to keep in mind. The next thing that could cause this is a bad oil pump. If that oil pump starts to fail, then it's going to cause issues. It's not going to be keeping the pressure correct. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad oil pressure sensor. And so there's some different ways to go about checking to see if it's a bad oil pressure sensor or a bad oil pump. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can go in there and find the option to check the engine oil pressure sensor. And one thing about these oil pressure sensors sometimes is when they fail, is that they'll give you a really high reading when the engine's off. So if you go to check the engine oil pressure sensor and you check to see what the oil pressure is, but the engine's off and you're getting some kind of high reading, it's basically almost a guarantee that there's some kind of issue going on with that oil pressure sensor. You can also start up the engine and check to see what the oil pressure is. But if that sensor's gone bad, you might be getting the wrong information. So a very common method is to use an oil pressure gauge, and you connect it to the engine. Usually where that oil pressure sensor is, you remove it, you connect an oil pressure gauge, you check to see what your engine oil pressure is rated to be at. Since there can be differences, you have to look that up. And then you start up the engine, and you check to see if the oil pressure is correct. If the engine oil pressure is correct, then you know there's something going on with that sensor. But if there's something going on with the engine oil pressure, like it's too low, then you know there's something else going on, like a bad oil pump or something going on inside the engine. One thing to keep in mind about these oil pressure sensors is that if there's anything wrong with the wiring going to the oil pressure sensor, then that's going to cause the same issues as a bad sensor. So be sure to keep that in mind because that does happen. Things go wrong with that wiring, like an open short, bad connection, anything like this. That does happen and that can be an issue. So be sure to keep that in mind. Another thing that could cause this is that something's blocking the oil flow. And this would be things like there's a lot of sludge inside of the engine. Some of those oil passages are just getting clogged up or the wrong oil filter was used, or components inside the variable valve timing got clogged up. The variable valve timing has these small screens inside of it, and sometimes they get clogged up, or different things like this. But the last thing on the list is going to be that there's something blocking the oil flow. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P06DD code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.